Deron Gonzalez is what the art world likes to call an emerging talent. The 33-year-old Cuban painter defected six years ago, initially taking odd jobs in Miami and only painting in his spare time. But his work, often political in nature, is becoming highly collectible, thanks in part to the changes between the US and Cuba. Deron now paints full-time and his pieces sell for thousands of dollars. In a way, I, I feel lucky, but it's been a lot of work. So uh, I think, uh, I don't know, like uh, the time just came. The historic change in relations is still at an early stage, but Miami's long-established Cuban art galleries are getting significantly busier. In the past year, sales here have doubled as interest has grown. So we're seeing a curve. We're seeing a curve that's moving up, and uh, it's very uh, rewarding to finally uh, see the recognition that uh, Cuban art deserves. Art from Cuba is a rare exception to the U.S. trade embargo, and collectors have been legally buying it for years. But it's a difficult process that many predict will get much easier if travel restrictions are eased further. Private collector Luis de la Vega says Cuba's new generation could greatly benefit from change. The new artists, the emerging artists, are the ones who are going to blossom if there is a, an opening vis-a-vis -vis the U.S. Whilst private collections like this are simply too expensive for most of us to even consider, each piece here offers a window into a world many North Americans are simply not familiar with. That, plus the sheer quality of the work, are the driving forces behind the renewed interest in Cuban art. The art world is constantly looking for the next big thing, and painters like Deron fit the bill. His work, like Cuba, is unique and could now potentially receive global exposure. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Miami, Florida.